Gia de Luz and Guattari's um, body without organs is really just, as it turns out, the ego of a schizophrenic. So, like an ego that is um, uncentered, basically, doesn't have a centered focal point um, to anchor its pride, essentially, as it turns out. Um, and that's why all of the desires in the body with thyroid organs just flows to and fro from this thing to the next thing freely. So it's, it's a version of freedom of desire, you know? And um, basically the way that Deleuze and Guattari see uh, the ego, the Freudian ego, they just basically see the ego as a kind of bondage and uh, a limiting factor. And that's why they suggest that we replace the ego with the body without organs and replace having egotistical goals with having schizophrenic um, impulses, basically. Um, I mean, it goes, it goes a lot further than that in terms of um, kind of articulating the way that the truest form of the body without organs is just a really good, effective, well-adjusted artist, basically, or um, yeah, basically like an artist or composer or somebody who's able to be infinitely flexible and um, effective, effective, affective, whatever have you. Um, all at the same time, so it's not really a schizophrenic, but it's not not a schizophrenic, you know. It's a body without organs. That's what a body without organs is. <laughs>